analytics is a good place to be. Financial IT professionals are going to be really busy. And a little bit of a caution when it comes to networking. I'm Mark Pfeffer, and this is the Dice TV update for Friday, August 6, 2010. So do you remember the movie The Graduate? It starred Dustin Hoffman and Anne Bancroft and came out sometime in the 60s or 70s. There's a scene in it where a family friend comes up to a newly graduated student and says, Ben, for your career, I've got one word of advice, just one word, plastics. Well, today that whole sentence could go, Sean, I've got one word, just one word of advice. You ready? You ready? Analytics. See, the problem is there's all these new technical solutions coming out to handle software analytics and data analytics, and there's just not enough people who know how to run the software. The issue isn't so much data gathering. It's making sure that the data that's gathered is clean, is relevant, and is timely for the organizations who want to use it. And some people say it could be a decade before there's enough specialists to really take advantage of the technology. So bear that in mind as you look for new specialties to get into. If you're in financial IT, you're going to be very busy soon. The Dodd-Frank Act, that's the Washington way of referring to the newly passed financial reform law, is expected to hit every aspect of the financial business. Observers say that companies are going to need new technology or certainly upgrades if they're going to be able to comply with the law. And some business models are going to change. Think about things like trading and derivatives desks at financial and investment firms. Remember how much fun Sarbanes-Oxley was? I think this is going to be better. So I hope that you're going out there and networking with people as a part of your job search. But when you do, here's a caution. Beware of social engineering. That's a fancy way of saying be careful when you're talking to people not to reveal company secrets or confidential information. There's a really strict line between sharing general technical information and showing off your technical smarts without getting into company secrets. Last week at DEF CON, a couple of people from big name companies spilled without even realizing that they were being targeted. This doesn't mean you shouldn't network. It just means that you should be careful in what you say when you craft your message. That's it for this week. Kat Miller is going to be back on Wednesday with another edition of Dice TV. And if you haven't seen her take on the old Spice commercial, you really should go look. Anyway, I'll be back on Friday. Until then, I'm Mark Pfeffer, Managing Editor of Dice News, and we now return you to your regular desktop.